Good morning. This is uh, away from uh, politics, away from uh, the Chicago uh, certificate scandal, away from uh, Nigerians who are not ready to uphold the truth, away from uh, judiciaries who are bent of destroying this country, away from uh, DSS who are beating lawyers, away from lawyers who are collaborating with the EFCC to defraud Yahoo people. Well, away from so many things. But what's more important today that I'm going to speak about is the educated ones who have this country, the Nobel Prize winner, such like Wally Suinka, have been very mute, you know. So I've come out and speak about this uh, certificate forgery, whether it was forged or not. But everybody's muted, but that's okay. In Nigeria, you know, when everything goes. Well, the uh, broadcast today is very clear. I often say that we have a lot of educated illiterates in Nigeria. That is clear, very clear. Now, something very tragic happened in Abuja recently. You have this what you call one chance. A pretty woman with a future, with a missing family, took a, a cap in, a, in Abuja. Unfortunately, after she was robbed, she was stabbed and pushed away from the car. And good Samaritan who sympathized with her situation, not only beat her, but rushed her in their own car and drive her to the nearby hospital. This is going to shock you because we don't have lawyers in this country. We don't have judges in this country. We don't have police in this country anymore. She went to the hospital. She was still breathing. A life could have been saved. But the hospital demanded, demanded for a police certificate report. Who does that? Who does that? Even if Anini resurrects today and come back to life, Anini was a thief, or UNC come back to life today, and they are armed robbers, armed robbers, what the law said, even if a judge or a jury Witness the robbery. The suspect is still presumed innocent until he or she is found guilty in a competent court of law. That's what the law said. That's what the law said. I'm not a lawyer, but that's what they said. So why would any hospital management allow that woman to bleed to death without giving her first aid, without even admitting her to the hospital? This is not the first time. I hope this will be the last time. I am calling out the Minister of Health, President Wang, not the disgruntled fail, uh, what is called, Osage Haniri, who failed abysmally, even the time of COVID-19. He didn't even live from, from a do state. He thought he's uh, a full animal now because he lived in, in the north all his life. So whoever is the Minister of Health today, I'm calling on you to send out an important message, whether it's government hospital or private hospital, that nobody deserves to die like that. All right? Even the lawyers have the right to represent armed robbers, kidnappers, Yahoo boys. That is what the law is meant for, unfortunately. Nobody's encouraging criminality. But the hospital management don't have any right whatsoever to deny anybody. That victim could have been anybody, could have been me, could have been you, could have been your sister, could have been your brother, could have been a doctor, could have been a lawyer, could have been anybody in this country. So we don't deserve to die. Please, when next there is a victim, whether robbery or armed robbery, whether kidnapper or kidnap, whatever it might be, let's save that life force. The police can go to the hospital and handcuff the suspect to bed until the suspect recover, take to the, the court. The prosecutor will prosecute the suspect. If she or he is found guilty, the judge will recommend, recommend such person to die by hanging or by fire risk or life imprisonment. But you cannot deny anybody treatment. It's inhuman and barbaric. We are a sovereign nation. All right, we are not Banana Republic. 
Thank you all. Please share this video. God bless you.